Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the default photo viewer on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in settings, best match, you'll come back with settings listed right above app. So go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to go down to apps, and go ahead and left click on that. And then on the right side, you want to select default apps. Go down to photos on the right side. You can also search for it up in this search apps field. So I'm just going to actually just type that in photo. So you see this is photos. Go ahead and click on that. And then if you want to change the default file type that it's going to open, click inside of each one of these horizontal bars. And then you can set a different application if you have them on your computer installed. You can click the little plus sign and see a little bit more options down here, or you can search for them as well. And you're going to have to do this for each item in here, unfortunately. They make it very challenging. Uh, Microsoft, at least with changing default file types, they really don't want you messing with this too much anymore. It was a lot easier in Windows 10. Hopefully they won't make you have to change it for each file type. But that's kind of what you have to deal with here. So that's basically how you do it. Uh, not too complicated, a little tedious, I would say, but if there's only one particular file type you want to change it for anyway, you can just kind of scroll right down to it and then just change it from there. And then you shouldn't have to do all of them. There's only going to be a few you actually would need to do, so just keep that in mind, but pretty straightforward process. There's only a few that actually really matter, but pretty straightforward process. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.